What is prompt engineering? Hello everyone, welcome back folks. So this is a thing that has gained a lot of momentum ever since ChatGPT came into the horizon. What is prompt engineering? So what I did is that I asked ChatGPT4 what prompt engineering is and I said explain it to me in a 5 year olds language or in a 5 year olds way with diagram, flowcharts, whatever you want. This is what ChatGPT said. Prompt engineering is like telling a small smart robo exactly what you need to do with it but in a way that it understands the best. So folks, I'm not going to read all of this through because even you can search it on GPT. You want me to explain that, that's why you have paid for this course. So let me give you an example. It's basically like, let's assume if you tell your friend, let's assume your friend's name is Sam or something. If you tell Sam, hey Sam, I saw a cat. So the moment you say I saw a cat in his head, he's going to visualize an image of a bunch of cats. Gingerhead cat, brown cat, white cat, red cat, black cat, whatever. So that's a very generic term. In prompt engineering, we call it a very simple straight prompt, which is the basic of prompts. Now, if you want to give it some more details, you can say, hey Sam, you know what? On Tuesday morning at 5 p.m. or 5 a.m., I opened my window and in front of the window, I saw a gingerhead cat. Now that itself, my friend, is a very detailed prompt because you said the date, you said the time, you said the location, you said exactly how the cat looked. Now, to add more distance, what you can do is that, you know, Sam, I saw this cat on Tuesday at 5 a.m., opened the window, saw the cat, and the cat was actually winking at me. Now, that's another level of detail. So, the more level of details that you put in, whether you're talking to your friend or to a robo, the more better your prompt is going to be. That is exactly what prompt engineering is all about. It's basically giving the most clear and precise instructions. We are going to play a lot of AI tools and you're going to see the more precise your words are, the better the output is going to be. Because folks understand this thing, this gen, gen AI tools or whatever these dumb AI tools are really like a human being because they have been processed by of the content that was made by human beings as I've already said, how GPTs and all these are made. So these were fed the data that were made by humans. So what is human characteristics? Human understand simplicity. The more detail you give something, the better. The better the imagination would be. Same goes for a robo or for a chatbot, whatever. So here is a chart, folks. I'm going to zoom this thing up for you because actually Dolly would just keep blinking at me if I just press the image. So here is it. So prompt engineering is that think of you. You put in simple words. You give a precise thing. You said something to a robo and you tell it to fill it. For example, on Tuesday morning, I saw a brown cat and dash, dash, dash. And whatever is filled in by the robo, that's another kind of a story. So this is, folks, what prompt engineering is. The more precise you are, the more detailed you are, you do not need to give advanced thing like get me the cosmos from the nebula and from the Newton and from the Isaac Newton and the Einstein. No, no, no. You just need to be precise. I'm going to show you actually this morning in the next lecture, I put up a prompt in Leonardo AI, which we are going to talk about a lot and learn about. And the picture that is created with simple images, with simple adjectives and images and simple English language, you'll be flabbergasted, you'll be mind blown by the image that is generated with simple languages, that's it. Simplicity is the king, folks, or queen. So folks, that was it from prompt engineering. It's, it's a science, it's an art of explaining your things in the most easiest, simplest and detailed manner possible. That was it from prompt engineering. So folks, here I am in Leonardo AI and Leonardo has changed a lot. And probably you'll see the updated version of Leonardo in your course only in the later stages when we go in deep with the text to AI prompt engineering part. So folks, this is Taylor Swift. You all know her. And this is a Leonardo dashboard. If you're not aware of Leonardo dashboard, Leonardo.ai is a fantastic AI tool and probably one of the top five AI tools that I would recommend to any beginner anytime. Because I've learned a lot from this tool. I've taught a lot of these tools and I've got great great response from my dear students around the globe um, in terms of Leonardo AI so here is a really simple thing this is the image of Taylor and these are three basic elements that you can add to the image this is a coloring book image if you increase the intensity the image is going to look more or less like a coloring book but we are going to decrease that so as to not do anything if you increase the folk art illustration it's going to look like more of that and if you increase the kids illustration, it's going to look more like that. But, and if you increase the 
toon anime image it's taylor swift's image is gonna look more like a toon anime which exactly it is so folks here is exactly how we are gonna do with prompt engineering if, if you can see my screen i said a taylor swift image wonderful beautiful and fabulous and happy and attractive these were the five different words now let's let's remove these five different words okay i'll copy this and remove all of that it's the image just says a taylor swift image that's it and let's bring it to all of the neutral things so we'll just get an image here we have it a taylor swift image now let's remove image a taylor swift uh pic or means picture uh with uh blondes so now it's a taylor swift image with blondes i never said dog but i don't know why they pick up dog but i said blonde so it's blonde okay fine blondes and uh with uh, glasses with glasses okay so so it actually knew i wasn't talking about a wine glass or other glass it's it's the glass that you wear that's that's pretty cool with glasses and a coat and a coat so now it puts up a coat now it puts up a coat but taylor swift looks more like jk rowling <laughs> so okay and this is how the more prompt you add the more detail you give okay um on a plane on a plane so the more detail you give her look at that it started a plane the more obviously this is not taylor swift this looks more like a little 60 percent version of jk rowling and 40 percent version of taylor swift but fine that's not the point folks folks the point is the more prompt you give the more details you give the more your image is going to refine now what i can do is that i can create a beautiful tune image if i increase the tunometer i'll call that tunometer if I increase it, it'll, it'll, it'll look like an anime image and it'll be pretty much fine. Okay. And uh, what happens if you do the negative? Okay, nothing happens much. So we'll put that to zero. Now, if you delete all of that and just say, uh, and we just say Taylor Swift, that's it. Taylor Swift. You see a Taylor Swift image. Now, if we put some more adjectives and other words here, like wonderful, beautiful, fabulous, happy, attractive, you have it. With a hat. So now it'll put a hat on Taylor's head. There you have it, but the face changed a little bit. Exact face, real time. So now it tries to give me an exact face of Taylor Swift in real time. The face is a little bit here and there, like 60, 40 here, but we'll fix it. Um, Let's go with exact face. Exact face. If you put it with exact face, it looks seventy percent like Taylor Swift, but not hundred percent. We want that hundred percent elegance of Taylor Swift. So it would be Taylor Swift, wonderful, beautiful, fabulous, and happy, and smiling. I don't know if I messed with the spelling of smiling, but yeah, fine. It's it's okay. It's okay, right, folks? It's okay. It's okay. We can we can go with that. But let's let's remove all of these. Taylor Swift, wonderful, beautiful. It looks more like something else because there's something with the eye that we need to fix up. Taylor Swift, wonderful, beautiful, uh, elegant, and uh, so so this time it looks more like Taylor. That's good. Elegant and maybe um, cool, something like that. So folks, now she looks cool as well. So folks, this was what I wanted to say. Now, if you want to make it a folk art illustration, increase that meter and you will have a folk art illustration of Taylor Swift. I'll put down to zero because I don't want that. If you want a, a coloring book of Taylor Swift, you can increase that and you'll get a coloring book thing of that. Print it out, give it to your kid and let them color. And I don't know why they just put this thing from Russia. This thing is in Russia, the background, the building there. It's like a, it's in Moscow or somewhere. I don't know why they put it that way when I said the coloring book thing. AI yeah, is weird sometimes. Even the one who's teaching that doesn't know what he's teaching. <laughs> and if you, so you understand that the more you play with these tools, the better. So folks, I'm not trying to start the Leonardo AI part right from the very beginning, but I'm just trying to give you a really good sense of how you can play with these tools and how you can get the best out of AI as and when needed. Now you can actually generate these upscales you can download that you can actually download this thing as you can download that and you'll have a great image ready i'll download this 
and uh, here we have it folks we made an image literally from nothing just while i was showing you a demo and you have an image here we have it of taylor swift taylor swift ladies and gentlemen uh probably a little bit of more work would have done great job but for a demo for a trial it's pretty fantastic what is the science of prompt engineering i've explained what prompt engineering is how it works why and blah 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 all of that and i've explained in the most detailed and in the most easiest way possible folks because folks at the end of the day my courses are for everyone whether you're 5 50 500 5 505 you need to understand this right from the beginning you should ex understand each and every lecture and that's my goal to explain you everything in the most easiest of ways possible folks what is prompt engineering and what is the science of prompt engineering it's a really simple game folks it's it's a very simple game by the way this is the image that i created just this morning for one of my courses and we're going to talk about that later how i created and what i did this was a very simple image folks i didn't use any ai tools anything just put a bunch of random words together stitch them together put it on leonardo that i've already showed you and it generated this and literally folks it took less than 15 seconds to generate this not only this it actually generated two images and i'm going to show you that so if you're interested what the prompt was this was the prompt taylor swift anime beautiful and amazing looking cute subtle and calming happy lovely wow and attractive folks these words don't make exact sense and you don't need to make exact sense when you're doing prompt engineering you do not you need to be clear and concise ai is there to figure out the grammar ai is there to figure out the grammatical errors and whatever don't be your english teacher here folks the english professor is not an ai this ai is not your english teacher this ai is there to give you the best results after you have given the best and the most detailed queries the more detailed you are with your query the better okay so it was a simple thing anime beautiful amazing looking cute subtle coming these are just random words i threw in and i saw and I said hell let's see what happens and this popped up and i like this image so much because of this because look at the eyes folks i'm removing my cursor just not to cover it look at the nose lips and all of this entire structure of this anime it's it's literally really good an editor would take two to three hours to make this thing the ai did in 15 damn seconds and i'm impressed folks not because i made it because i prompted some little things and ai did the magic next one folks so this is an image folks and let me show you how this prompt engineering and what's the science behind that this is an image again generated by an ai and this was not leonardo yet this was some different ai because they play with a lot of them so there are five elements in this ai that can give you in this ai image that can give you a beautiful image like this not completely exactly like this but quite similar to that so the first one is the most common one is the building it looks like the manhattan buildings if you can see if you live in america you know this this is the building this is the first one second one is uh where you go this is the here we have it the art the art that you can see here flowing here there dabbling everywhere third one is the cosmic art if you can see here the sky and all of that fourth one is the river River, you see? Fourth one is the river, folks. So if you put a prompt, something like generate a 12, by the way, these dimensions are 1280 by 720, image of buildings of Manhattan in an art form in the background. And the art form is such that it just enhances the entire being with the cosmic art. And there's this river. And you'll get a different image, obviously, but you'll get kind of similar image like this. So this is how folks prompt engineering works. These are just elements. Art is an element. Cosmic art is an element. Uh, building is an element. River is an element. So this is how it works. Folks, actually it should be cosmic sky art, but I just wrote in cosmic art just for the simplicity. The next one, folks. Now it's our exam. Now it's your exam to find out what kind of elements were there present in this image of Einstein, of Albert Einstein, Dr. Einstein, that led to making of this image, folks. I didn't use any premium version AI, I just used the free version of Leonardo to generate this image, folks. Actually, let me help you with that. First one would be Dr. Einstein, but in a comic illustration, because this is not an image, this is a comic illustration one. And then this is this chair, and then look at this shoe, this is impeccable. Then because the AI knows that Einstein is a science guy, he's a scientist, he was a scientist, a really great one, so it has created this 
neutrons and protons and this E is equal to MC square thing and his equations and all of that. And because he knows that he was a professor and all of that, he has put a book in, in his hands. That is the beauty, folks. If you put little, little details, you stitch them together, it doesn't matter if it doesn't make a grammatical sense. It doesn't matter. AI is not here to check your grammar. If you stitch all of them together, it will happen. Now let me show you before we end this lecture how I made that one. So folks, this was the Taylor, Im Taylor Swift image that I was talking about. This is, the, you, as you know the prom, Taylor Swift, anime, beautiful, cute, subtle, calming, happy, lovely, wow, attractive. I put it up and it created this. this these are the second images. The first one was these images. Yeah, look at this. You remember this one? Yeah, this was the one that I put it on the slide. Yeah, that was the one. So these were the images that were created first. This is how it's done. And then I removed the anime thing. Actually, anime was there, but still maybe I used some different way. So we generated these images. I actually like this one so much that I downloaded that. And then these one. It's really simple, folks. It's really simple bunch of things stitching together, putting it in the AI, and AI doing the magic. That was it from this one, folks. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you for being there. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.